Hey, you got some more from Zoids KZ here from Cape Town. How you doing? How you doing? We will be looking at a product or products of Vapefly today. And it has especially been brought out for the do-it-yourselfer. And what am I talking about? Number one is this little guy. And number two, this little guy. So this is what is called an accessory bag. And this is what's called the, the Mimi or Mimes Masterful Tool Bag. Now, if you decide to order any one of these, if you decide to order the accessory bag, this is what the packaging is going to actually look like. Very nice little baggie, which you can actually close down. And yeah, there's a little card inside. And if you decide to purchase the tool bag, this is the packaging in which it will come. The reason why I actually say that this tool bag is an actually an addition to this guy. You do not have to order both of them, put it that way. But for the sake of convenience, I decided to order both because this guy actually fits inside this guy. So now you've got a tool kit and you've got a nice accessory bag as well. And there you can put in anything to your heart's desire. I just put in a bottle of juice over there, a pair of 21700s, a pair of 18650s. There I actually had a spare mod without the atomizer inside there. And in there I've got coils and cotton. So yeah, you can decide. And as I said, this guy fits in perfectly at the top over there and you can close down everything and carry this little number to your vape meat as one single unit. There you go, on the trot I tell you. But I'm more interested in showing you what is inside the masterful tool bag. Now both these items have been hand stitched, they've been handmade. And I will post a video to my members where they can actually see the process of how this bag was actually made there. So that you can appreciate the craftsmanship that actually went into this. It's not a cheap tool bag as well, but when you look at the components, you will understand why. So without any further ado, let's go down for a closer view. Okay, so here it is, all genuine leather hand stitched Mimes masterful tool bag with a monkey nut over there. You will see this very nice, almost looks like denim clips over there which is magnetic though, and it actually clips in very nice in place. So yeah, so that's the first thing which you have over there. Then underneath here, there's a bottle opener, which I'll show you now. But there, on opening it up, that's all the tools which you are going to get. Let's just quickly remove this bottle opener there, which is this little guy. If you're wondering how to use this little bottle opener, there's actually two ways in which you can do it, all depending on the cap, which is on the top over here. But general, most of the caps, you can actually do this and get that little sharp point underneath that edge and lift it up otherwise you can use this back end though almost like you do with a hammer and a nail take that push it all the way over there and just give it a pop and it opens up right so let's just quickly go through the components then i'll actually show you how some of them actually works though now these two pliers are obviously kept in place by these you can actually see there and it actually clips in very very nice as well but what you have over here is you have got uh, needle nose pliers and on this side you have got diagonal pliers and on this side you've got diagonal pliers over there or wire cutters is what you guys call it there and you will also notice that they've got these little plastic caps in which these the heads actually fit of the plier. then over here you've got an atomizer stand which also clips in place as you can see they've got a little knobby at the bottom over there which is actually done awesomely and it just pops in place just like so but it's got some weight to it though it's nice solid metal so it's actually a very nice atti stand so if you want to do any builds on that and it does have 510 threading on the inside as well and then you've got a pair of scissors over here to cut your cotton obviously and here's a little cute tool which i'll actually show you a bit more about later there but this is what you actually use if you want to turn yourself some spaced wire coils with normal round wire and inside here you get going to get a coily tool four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so yeah there's coily tool for different coil lengths and this little guy obviously you can actually see it's studded over there it's got this rough edge over here but this is a little rubberized strip which you can actually use to um, remove an atomizer which is stuck on a, on a mod to help with that extra grip you've got some nice cotton tweezers very very sharp edged cotton tweezers and i think this this would also be amazing for actually removing thorns um, it's extremely sharp and you can actually see the awesome nice close fit that these guys have with one another these are great cotton tweezers then you've got this this is our ceramic tweezers which we have over here awesome awesome tweezers as well great spring to it there and then we've got this which is a curved needles you also got little plastic caps on the front there but these guys you can obviously use for more delicate things if there's a screw that fell inside the atomizer or you want to thin out your cotton very nice grippy 
feel to this pedal section and it is metal as well and here you have four screwdrivers this one's a Phillips head 3.0 this one's a flat head 2.0 and then you've got a hex 1.3 and you've got a hex 1.5 nice rotating back portion there's a little ball bearing on the inside over there very very nice turny turny great feel to this exceptional coating almost like powder coatedness and then what you have here these three and this guy over there this is coiling tools which you actually use if you want to turn yourself a coil same with the small little guy but remember this is space coil these are for the normal coils which you actually have so before i actually show you how this works and how it actually looks then you've got this little tool as well now this has actually got a dual function though but most people i think only sees this portion of the function where it's actually got this this metal brush section over on this side but if you actually remove the back rubberizing as well which you can do if you just get your finger in there and just pull that apart there you can actually see that this guy also doubles up as a coiling rod to keep your coils in place your three millimeter diameter coils three millimeter fits on perfectly over there and obviously the steel brush portion you can actually use to even out the glow of your coils okay now in case you've never seen how you actually use this i'm quickly going to show you this we're going to need this we're going to need and let's take this guy now you can see all of these guys there's three of these bars and all of them have got numbers on these a 25 a 30 35 a 20 a 40 and nothing else but that's the inner diameters if you want to turn a coil with the three millimeter inner diameter you're going to use this side 2.5 millimeter diameter that side 3.5 2 and 4 and so how you're actually going to go about that is you're going to have a look at this portion and you will see on it it actually states 2 millimeter 2.5 3mm 3.5 etc so let's say for instance we want to turn a coil with a 3.5 millimeter diameter coil then you're going to use the this this guy's got a little head which actually comes off and then you're going to just slide this guy in there put this on there okay and then as i said we want to turn a three millimeter diameter coil so we will be able to, we will be using this little guy all of these guys have got a little screw now this is a hex 1.5 screw so if we take this hex screwdriver what i normally like to do is i just like to turn out my little screw slightly more like that it just works slightly better for me when i actually take it out i've got some round wire here now this thing just came off the spool <laughs> so it looks a bit untidy let's just quickly use our wire cutters this guy to actually cut off a nice little piece of wire like so and if you take this guy you will actually see you've got two small little holes over there now if you put the wire through that hole you're going to turn your coil clockwise if you put it through that hole you're going to turn your coil anti-clockwise so most atomizers or most bold eggs actually use a clockwise coil so we'll just put our little piece of wire through there as simple as that and then you can just hold on to this piece which is stuck over there and this is the guy which we are interested so what i normally do is i just give it a little bend down and now you can use this guy and put in the three millimeter you'll actually see the three millimeter rod is what we took three millimeter this is what we want and now i'm going to just start turning this guy just so we get to that point just going to give it a bit of flex over there and then what you can do is you can just pull out this piece of wire as well now i just normally just to make it easier just cut off a little section over there because that's not going to be needed and then it actually pulls out a lot quicker and then what i normally do is i just put this little guy back and just give this guy a nice little turn as well just to give it a nice just like so there you go just like that and just look at that now obviously you can cut your coil legs a bit though and there you got a perfect three millimeter diameter coil if you put this back um you're gonna obviously press in air but they say so cute they actually got a little hole down there for the air release <laughs> so oh, that's actually nice and here's a few more coils i'll turn myself a bit earlier there's a little Clapton coil, there's a little staggered coil I turned myself and there's another little Clapton coil okay now let's say for instance you want to turn yourself a nice piece of round wire as I said we've got we're going to use this little guy there's a piece of 24 gauge round wire which I actually have and you want a spaced one 
Now you can decide whether you want 2.5 millimeter or two diameter. Let's take the 2.5 millimeter diameter. So what I normally do is I just put a little piece of wire on that portion over there and then just bend it upwards. And then what I do is I just start turning it into any one of those. Now don't worry if it doesn't look good now. And then you can start turning it. It's as easy as that. What I normally do is I just give it an extra wrap and you'll see why I do that now. So yeah, there you go. There you go. Easy as pie. Because this portion over there is I want to remove a wrap to get it actually nice, nicely turned. So what you can do is because you've got this, you can just grab hold onto this guy. As I said, you've got all the tools needed to actually make this little guy work great. So let's just quickly cut our little legs. Give us a nice little decent leg length. There you go. And all you now do now to remove this is you're going to unwind this guy. You're going to just hold your little fingers on there and then you can just unwind. Just go one way. Just turn this guy. And automatically your little coil is going to be turned out. And there you go. And there you have it. Nice little spaced 2.5 millimeter diameter coil. It's as simple as that. Okay, now if you look at the scissors, I've got to say this is the only thing that I was disappointed in. That little pin of mine actually started coming looser and the scissors started pulling apart. So yeah, so I tried getting a hammer. You will actually see I've got some marks on mine though. Um, yours maybe might not have the problem. As I said, the, all, all the rest of these things are actually beautifully made and actually work great. But these scissors of mine actually sucked. I've got these pair of scissors which is actually awesome. And that fits in great over there. So I'll, I'll use that pair of scissors. But these scissors of mine were, were, were not great. <laughs> they were actually very, very sad. These scissors are extremely sharp. I mean, this is a thick piece of cotton. Just check it out. Cuts it through beautifully, beautifully. But normally you will never use a thick piece of cotton like that. Normally, let's take this piece of cotton over there. Let's say this is for a three millimeter diameter coil. And if you need to thin this out, absolutely awesome. Just check out that. So I've got no problems <laughs> with this small, small little one. But otherwise, I'm very happy with everything else inside this kit. Okay, just another thing about the screwdrivers, except that they are obviously nice and rotated. They've got a very nice feeling to it though. And these guys have been a phosphate process to give it a hardened tip though, for longer lasting. It's also magnetic, just bear that in mind. And these handles, which you see over there, they were made by a sole jolt processing over there. Also nice feeliness to them though. And then the tips of these things also chromium vanadium steel so yeah so they're all, all quality it's just those scissors which actually sucked a bit but i still thought i would actually like to show you this toolkit and how some of these things work and i'm sure you all know how coily tool works but if you are absolutely new to this and never had your own build kit and this is the first time that you see something like this as i said you take your cut wire cutters you've got this guy over there so for instance you want to cut these little coil leg lengths um, at six you just pop in your little coil over there and you'll see your little legs sticking out at the back over there and then just take your wire cutters and just cut them off if you want them seven put it there eight etc etc so yeah all right so there you have it hope you enjoyed it <laughs> so yeah you just decide as i said i just think my scissor was just a case of very much bad luck though um, i doubt yours will probably do this though but uh anywho that's the only problem which I actually have with this whole kit and the accessory bag. I'm still extremely happy with it. I actually prefer the other scissors as well. Not only because they're shorter, but they're sharper as well. I think I paid 600 rand just for those small little scissors. <laughs> in any case, though, so yeah. So I'm not too much bothered there, but just be in mind that could happen. And another thing about this accessory bag, which I can just mention before we go, is besides the pouches at the bottom, you've also got areas at the top which you can actually put cotton and things in there as well. But stitching is also awesome on this guy. And there we go. So, you came, you saw, you decide. This is Kaiser signing over now. Cheers up. Yeah.